I would like to begin this video with a moment of silence in dedication to Matthew Gertz, who has dealt with constant at mentions on Twitter because people keep believing he is Matthew Gates. And I'll give you the truth why I'm not speaker. It's because one person, a member of Congress, wanted me to stop an ethics complaint because he slept with a 17-year-old. An ethics complaint that started before I ever became speaker, and that's illegal, and I'm not going to get in the middle. As you might imagine, Matt Gates has some reasons that he would like to be attorney general, with some of those reasons being below the age of 18. And Matt Gates is very excited. It's an honor to serve, but you see, there is a little bit of a hurdle for Matt Gates because I don't believe he's going to actually be confirmed by the Senate. You see, Matt Gates, if you don't follow along very often, he is not well liked. Take this for example. Now, maybe you're not familiar with that man that was trying to go after Matt Gates in that clip on the House floor. Well, that would actually be Representative Mike Rogers of Alabama, the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, who has been suggested that Trump may be picking them for Secretary of Defense. Yes, yes. Seriously. His own people almost got into a fight on the House floor, and they were both picked for the administration. Now, Matt Gates has a whole bunch more that's going to come out and going to be dug into. And what I am very excited for is to see if anyone will dive into his involvement in visiting the hashtag Freedom Corner protest. That is a protest that, before his arrival, had plenty of violence committed by the people involved in it had the woman running it talk of wanting to see Nancy Pelosi hung, to see a black police officer hung. Matt Gates still decided to show up, but he's not the only one. All right, there was someone else. George Santos was, uh, yeah, maybe that's not a good, com good comparison to say that Matt Gates isn't alone when the only other person is George Santos. No one else really wants to touch that group. The only one that got close was, well, I guess there was another. She didn't go to their event, but they were in contact. Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, yeah, that's probably not, probably not very good either. Now, what's funny is Matt Gates is, uh, he's not liked by Republicans. So there's arguments about will he actually get the position? And a lot of people are saying that he'll basically be put in as the acting. Secretary of Defense for the entire pr Trump presidency because he'll never get approval in the Senate because he's disliked so much. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that unfolds because he's not going to want to back down from the position, that's for sure. And Trump is going to get really angry if senators block any of his picks. Matt Gates must be so happy considering he sought a presidential pardon for that very investigation that he wanted to have stopped. And he's in a great position to stop it one way or another now. But I think Matt Gates, and he, I might be wrong, I think he might be a disappointment to many of the people cheering on his pick, specifically people that are J6 defendants, because there is a massive fight in the so-called J6 community. If you go and you look up pardoning J6ers, a common trend is them saying, pardon non-violent J6ers. If you go and you watch interviews at the corner protest, the Freedom Corner protest that Matt Gates attended uh, for J6 prisoners, if you go and watch latest videos from the people there, they don't want blanket pardons either. But you know who kind of does want the blanket pardons? A lot of J6ers, because a lot more than you might think are in there for violence. Let me give you an example. The protest that Matt Gates went to is also um, the place that gets the calls from the D.C. jail. And those calls from the D.C. jail, um, those are the J6ers that recorded that song that Trump played at his rallies and all of that. And they thought they were getting paid. 
That was the point. Well, there was a letter released by another J6er um, that he was given by J6ers in the jail who explained that many of them were told they aren't going to get a dime. They aren't going to get a penny. You know why? You know why they're not getting paid? They have violence charges. A lot of J6ers have violence charges. And a lot of J6ers, I looked it up, that are cheering on Matt Gates or celebrating, but at the same time, people are saying, pardon all nonviolent J6ers. Trump has not said he's going to blanket pardon them all. And many people have come out and said that they, instead of a blanket pardon, nonviolent is still being used a lot. And I think there's a reason for that. Because a lot of the J6ers, honestly, they would be an embarrassment for Trump to pardon. I going to say it. For let me give you an example. How about a guy who brought a gun to January 6th, fired it into the air at January 6th, actually fired the gun, and then after January 6th, um, stabbed someone in a bar fight or in a bar, like to stab someone. Theoretically, that wouldn't be a good pardon, right? I wouldn't think. Or, or, um, how about the a J6er? Well, we can use multiple. This is a real example. Uh, multiple J6ers who uh, have charges against children from before January 6th. Maybe they won't get a pardon. Or how about the ones that got charges after January 6th, but before being arrested for January 6th against children? Do you think Trump wants to tie his name to that? What about the J6ers that are now being called Antifa? Is Trump going to pardon Ray Epps? Matt Gates is looking at a rough road to actually get into the position he wants, like, you know, actually being voted in, getting the, getting the numbers. But on top of that, a lot of the people cheering him I think are celebrating things that might not happen because once Matt Gates gets into this position of power, he doesn't need any of you anymore. And there's a great example where um, earlier today there was a Muslim group that supported Trump and they supported him because Trump claimed that he would demand Israel take action. The moment he won the election, he wouldn't even wait until election day. In the inauguration. He would, he would do it on election day, day one of after the election. Wouldn't even need to be president at the time. Make the demand. And Trump didn't. And instead, Israel is doing exactly what they wanted to prevent. And that group has put like a public letter out. He doesn't need you anymore. He got the votes. And of course, what's funny is a lot of people don't like Matt Gates. So what this means is Trump could possibly resend this nomination. Because all it would take is someone with enough dirt on Matt Gates, not, you know, anything criminal, but just some dirt of him insulting Trump or something and things could change before the inauguration. This is one of the dumbest selections he's made, which is saying something considering Tulsi Gabbard, known for lying about foreign nations, got a spot, got picked. for uh, a situation that involves foreign nations. And I got some some here. Uh, I opened up a the conservative Reddit. I'm not going to read the usernames, but I'll read some of the comments here about Matt Gates being picked for attorney general. What? Sorry, but this is bad. Like, embarrassingly bad. Yeah, this is literally the worst pick I could have possibly thought of. His worst pick yet, IMO. Not a fan of Matt. He is a lapdog and a hardliner. 
Agree, this seems to be a response to people saying Biden should make Kamala Harris the president to screw with Trump, except Trump trolls them, but this pick is not right for the country. I agree this is a bad tap. If the goal is to just piss off liberals, it's a win. If the goal is to have a great AG that everyone can trust, then it's a total failure. That's coming from a community that normally, if you criticize Trump, uh, you get banned instantly. And even they are going, yeah, but no one likes this guy. Yes, this actually is a real tweet by Matt Gaetz, by the way. Just thought I would add it to the end. Yeah. 